continuing from the last part of Doki Doki Literature Club, let's find out what's going on with Natsuki. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She, she throws in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches from the... She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me... Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Luke. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep snacking my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay, wow. Uh... What? Okay, oh, I am... God, Monica, what even, what's, I don't know. Uh, well, I wrote my poem for Natsuki, let's read it to her. I told her Natsuki is interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. <laughs> okay, well, what's some of the things I don't like? First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, if I have to remember how I said I wanted to read your poems, that's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to be show me some dumb poem and then go, ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but... Uh, dang it, I, I skipped past that. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Uh, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You, you, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I said that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that you like my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Uh, okay, same poem as last time. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Let's be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? You're right, so I wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Um, okay, this is exactly the same dialogue as before, so skip, 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 skip. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go, now we'll read Yuri's. So this, so this will all be, so this is going to be different dialogue than before. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! I just raised my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri bears her face in her hands. You couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes, and we haven't, re and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. That's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it says that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. I haven't been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once you refrains to train of thought, is as if her demeanor totally changes. Stammering is completely gone. Dang it. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Um, wait, this is all the same dialogue, actually. Yeah, skip, skip. Um, is this gonna be the same poem as before? Um, yeah, it's the same poem. 
Um, yeah, so we'll skip past this. I'm... God, what is Monica's poem gonna be this time? Is it gonna be the same as before? Or is it gonna be super weird and be like, okay... Hi, Luke. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, how about you not be involved is one thing. I'm always listening. Oh, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Don't be afraid be afraid to bring things up, okay? I don't like that coming from you. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Good. I should be afraid. It's much better. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Luke. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. And that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mmm, I like it, Luke. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It, it kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. And if you're interested in, in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. To cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. She sees, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is, I, this is just a guess. But I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just time to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. That's not what I'm worried about. It's not pretty comfortable for someone who claims to not be very good. No, oh, that's cause that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hmm. Um, okay, this is actually different from before. Okay, hole in wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glared at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears to brandish my pen. I don't know what this means. Okay. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, and that's what you call it. Sorry. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of people have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. And when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Hmm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm scared to think of what you consider an epiphany. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, this Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a, a, a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Um, hang on. We've heard that one before. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing media my mediocre writing abilities. Okay, this is getting weird. I just Yeah, I heard the music get weird just a, just a minute ago. And I don't mean a problem with the record, I mean the in the music No, I mean the music's pitch is getting was getting weird. Anyway, anyway, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can send it to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Hang on, let me take a sip. Okay. 
Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, much into their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> you just in my seat. Sorry about that. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Luke did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come up, I've come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Luke liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Luke appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make sure I do everything overly cutesy. Ugh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Hang on, we've seen, we've seen all this before. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we've all... We've seen... Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the music. Luke. Uh... Uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Natsuki. No. What is happening? I like that. Uh, Monica? Um, hey Luke. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? I don't want to step outside with you. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once, we're doing, once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more served sometimes. I, I don't want you to be that. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. No, don't! Not Suddenly, not sick ones out of the classroom. Oh, dude. She, qu she quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is walking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Luke, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Okay, Yuri's going to be the one to die next, I think. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides... I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as if like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Luke. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. 
Uh, 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 what happened there? I feel as if that was intended to happen. My oh, we skip right to the next day. Okay. Uh, make a poem. I'm not sick. Well, not sick. He was feeling bad. So let's make another one for her. Beauty. About Valentine. Oh boy. Okay. This is getting crazy. Oh boy. God, dude. I just wow. W seriously, what is this game turning into? Uh, uh, I shouldn't have clicked on that. Uh, I'll just pick all the cute options. Oh, I am so ready for a jump scare to happen. I'm not, but it's gonna happen. Ba. Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Luke. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the way of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, manga isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my own poor smoothed corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please, don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you would consider and apologize. Alright, now I apologize to Natsuki, too. Uh, I mean, you're the one who... I mean, you made her run crying out of the room. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. If I remember correctly, uh, the f on our first day here, uh, Monica was like, I don't know what to do here. And uh, Sayori actually got, them to, got Natsuki and Yuri to stop fighting and, and make up. But since she's dead, that didn't happen this time. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. Now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Luke, don't say the kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an, un an understanding person. And I'm real glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bright with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. You know, on our second day, Monica was also running late. I'm really curious as to what she's doing. Uh, she had uh, she had an excuse, like she was like, "Oh, I'm practicing piano." Yeah, that's it. But I don't. But I'm. I don't believe her. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Atsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Oh. Hmm. Did Monica do a mind wipe on, on, on Natsuki? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? B but, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. 
<laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Ah, uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. N I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, like, time just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ugh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. Oh, I'm sure she, Monica does quite a few things that require much dedication. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. Yeah, that, that's... Your portrait's a little off-screen there. You should play something for us sometime. That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on a writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that, in that case, I won't let you down, Luke. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Luke, um, since your compliments put me in such a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Ah, I suppose so. I didn't think I could say no to you. After that, after you, after you, after you gave that book to me, well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she, she's, she's fine. She was reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. And black screen. Okay, um, what's the story about anyway? Well, hmm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Um. Oh, basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. I feel like this will come back later. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off the limbs and fits them to. Uh oh, that might be a bit, a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not to think about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You are made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Again. I probably said this already, but... Gee, what a good way to describe this game. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Luke? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. Take some more drink there. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges to look at life from, from a strange new perspective. I mean, horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I lost interest in anything. Okay, who is really speaking through the black tats? Because I don't think it's any of the characters I'm actually speaking to. Oh, if I had to guess, I would say somehow Monica is speaking through the black through the blackened text. I'm really, really having my sister. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think I'm almost certain Monica is is the villain of the game. I'm sure everybody who's played this game already is like, "Wow, really? You just now figured it out." But, you know, I don't know. By the way, I, should, I probably should have said this in part one, but I may as well, I'm just going to say it now, rather than later. Uh, don't post any spoilers in the comments, guys. Come on. I'm playing this blind, and I read, look, I read every comment that I get, because I don't get many of them. But the ones I do get, I read them. So if you post a spoiler in the comments, I'm going to see it, and that's going to ruin the game for me. So don't do that. Don't post spoilers. For anybody, really. 
I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like boots running through my thoughts. Well, now you know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I wanna see what that was. Oh, it won't let me see it. Well, I'll see it in post anyway. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. If they stop me if I'd start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oof! Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I'll slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. This is something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. As if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe not for Yuri, but for Monica? Hmm. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks, it looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was, oh, okay. What about what was that about bathing? Okay. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I didn't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I set my desk up until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. You're, you're timidly close to her own copy. Once we, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use, instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess that kind of makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Your tits are... Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm... How's this going to get glitched up? Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and your slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this? We're hardly even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll, how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You know, I was used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finishes the pages before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her at the side, and she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but... Main character kind of reminds me of you. Kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh -uh? No, I didn't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was, just th I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So, I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Yeah, this. I'm pretty sure this is... This point on, it's actually a little different. This is where the second day turns different just a little bit. Breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth is that about? Luke, did something just happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri is acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. 
I was just making sure you that you didn't do anything to her. I was I'm try I'm warning I'm wondering if you did something to her actually. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. I don't believe you though. Yuri just does it sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get something we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, asking. Stand up. I'll make a mental note of where I lopped off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Alright, Natsuki. I wrote my poem for her until it got it until it got weird there. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. It's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Oh, well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Yeah. A little cute, with a little spice of... You know, the usual stuff. Fair enough, you're so new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from me. Real, writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. So you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Okay. Yep. Garbled up stuff. Luke, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It's the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like hearing more? I think you're better off not, not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now what's happening. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Luke, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to go home crying? The club's the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! What? Okay! Okay! Uh... And somehow, I'm going to keep going. But I'll have to do that in the next part of Doki Doki Literature Club. See you guys then.